In part B of the assignment, we are going to focus on the uh, resource allocation problem. The resource allocation problem is a very generic problem that is faced in many areas of business. The basic idea is every firm has limited resources and um, these resources can be allocated to a number of different activities. And the question is, what is the best way to allocate these resources so that the total uh, revenues or profits are maximized? Okay, so um, when you open the um, Excel sheet and click on the Part B tab, <coughs> excuse me, um, you will see um, this Excel sheet. Here uh, we have um, two products, chair and table. Okay, so the company makes chairs and tables. Uh, the unit price for a chair is $50 and uh, for a table it's $60. Okay, uh, we have to decide how many of these chairs and tables we should make okay to maximize our profits so to calculate our uh, total profit uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the sum product function okay equals sum product open parenthesis we're going to multiply the unit prices we select unit prices and then comma we're going to select the two uh, cells here and close parenthesis okay so let's say if we make one chair and one table um, our total revenue will be 110 so if we make two tables okay so two times 60 plus 1 times 50, 170. So these are our decision variables and we want to maximize the total revenue. Okay. However, uh, we cannot make an infinite number of chairs and in, an infinite number of tables. Why? Because we, are, we have limited resources. What are our resources? Our resources are machine A and machine B. Okay, so machine A can work at most 40 hours per week. And the same is true for machine B. And to make a chair, one chair, um, we need two hours of processing on machine A and three hours processing on machine B. For making a table, one table, we need four hours of processing in machine A and uh, one hour of processing in machine B. Now, in your particular case, we need to generate four random numbers. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to say uh, equals rand between. Uh, 1 comma 6 okay between 1 and 6 I'm going to drag this to the next cell and then I'm going to click here and drag one level below that so in your case these numbers are going to be different okay so I'm going to randomly pick some numbers copy and I'm going to uh, paste them here Okay, so I don't need these numbers anymore. Okay, so these are my numbers. Okay, I need so many hours of processing on machine A for one chair and so many hours of processing for, uh, on machine B for one chair. Similarly, for table. Okay, so if I make one chair and two tables, how many hours of processing do I need on machine A? 
So I need uh, one times four hours for the chair and two times three for the table. Okay. So I'm going to say equals some product parenthesis these two numbers. Okay, comma uh, these two cells. Okay. So I'm going to need a total of ten hours to make one chair and two tables um, on machine uh, A. Let's calculate uh, how much processing we need on machine B equals some product. <coughs> Excuse me, open parenthesis. These two numbers, comma, these two numbers close parenthesis. So now uh, these constraints are satisfied because I need to stay below 40 for machine A and for machine B. So let's say I increase the number of tables to let's say 3. Yes, that's still uh, feasible. Let's say 5 tables. Let's say uh, maybe ten, 10 tables. Okay still feasible 15 tables okay now i have a problem because um, i cannot exceed 40 hours on machine a so this is not feasible okay so let's say uh 10. so this is how we set up our optimization model we want to optimize maximize total revenues by deciding how many chairs and tables to make these are our decision variables and we have two constraints one constraint for machine a and one constraint for machine b